Okay, this is the third video now in the um, Level 1 Feet GUI Extras. And I briefly mentioned empty EVs. And we don't have any empty EVs for this analysis, but I guarantee you will for some of yours. They come up pretty commonly. So what are they and how do we use them? So referring back to the analysis we ran under this basic shape option, we chose the three custom for file, bleh, the three column format um, option, which is typically what you'll end up using. But the first option here is empty L zeros. So why would you need an empty EV? Well, it could be something like junk trials or correct trials. You might have a subject who doesn't have any junk trials and you might have a subject who does. So you want to keep your analyses consistent across your subject. Not really for statistical reason, there's a whole degree of freedom argument on this, but it's more or less just to keep your contrast numbers and naming convention consistent across all of your subjects. And also with correct trials, you might have a subject that didn't have any correct trials, but if you don't have a regressor for correct trials, all of your regressor numbers are gonna be off by one. For that subject and you have to adjust everything. So coding wise it's easier if you can just put in a placeholder if that run or that subject didn't have any of that type of stimulus. So that's what it's for and again keeps a consistency in your design matrix setup across your subject. So ultimately it does make some aspects of coding easier. The big caution I have with using empty EVs is that FSL doesn't magically notice when you have an empty EV. Um, I've run across people who are like, oh, you know, I had empty EVs, but FSL just knows to skip those in the higher level analyses. In fact, it doesn't. What it does is if you look at a COPE file, if the uh, contrast, uh, COPE stands for contrast of parameter estimates, we will review all the files that are created uh, from a level one analysis shortly. Um, if you look at the COPE image, for an empty EV, it will just be all zeros. So just put zeros. And zero doesn't mean nothing. Zero is something, right? Um, so if you did a contrast with that empty EV, it'll just subtract a zero. So instead of subtracting an actual contrast. So it can give really misleading results if you continue to use it. So you have to make sure it gets omitted later. So sometimes um, it is helpful that if you do have a contrast, just strictly with it that the cope will be all zeros because you can check that really quickly with a command line option. But um, yeah, the fact that the other contrast will give numbers is a little more worrisome. All right, so it's up to you and your mad coding skills to omit all contrast involving empty EVs in all higher level analyses. And I'll unpack what I mean here. So for example, Let's assume our um, contrast of interest was correct versus incorrect trials. And for subject one, run one has no correct trials, run two has some correct and some incorrect, and run three also has some correct and some incorrect. In your second level analysis, where you average across runs, you can only use run two and run three in your correct versus incorrect. So, so let me back up here. This is assuming correct minus incorrect was estimated in the level one analysis. So I'm talking about bringing that contrast, the difference of the two, to a second level analysis. And in that case, you can only use runs two and three. So who hates this idea? Hopefully some of you are feeling a little uncomfortable and you're like, wait, wait, um, what about my correct trials uh, from the first run? Sorry. What about the incorrect trials from the first run? So the other option is to estimate your contrast in the level two analysis. So just estimate correct for all runs and incorrect for all runs and compute the paired comparison in level two. So this is what I would recommend if you have a contrast of interest like this um, and you don't really wanna throw away the incorrect trials from that, that first run. Um, using only non-empty EV runs, you can then do this, obviously. So you would use from the level, the run one analysis, you would use the incorrect trial estimate, but you would not use the correct 
trial estimate because it in fact is not correct. <laughs> no, it doesn't, it just will have all zeros, which, which isn't good. Right, and of course, again, this is so you don't lose your incorrect trials from run one. So that is it. Again, be very careful. There is an alternate way to enter these, by the way, which is easier from a coding perspective. If you're creating your onset files, you can just create an onset file with one line, zero, space, zero, space, zero. So following the three column format, or I believe an empty file will also work. So I would prefer doing it that way to make my scripts run more smoothly than actually choosing the empty EV option from the download, uh, I'm sorry, from the pull down menu. So please join the Facebook group or Tumblr or Twitter or all three. And I hope you have a good day. Thank you.